then I never made it to the castle. When she called, she told me, when she called about five o'clock, they were in Bachelor. They were passing Bachelor. All right. All right. Okay. Well, praise God. He said, come for God. He said, bring it. He died. Bring it. The thing is, friend, I will be going for. Did you know that, Alicia? Hmm? Bring it. Bring it fast away. Oh, no. Monday, yeah. Yeah, the thing I call me. Hmm. Yeah, the one who bring it home. He passed away. Amen. So they said they're going to do this. Wait. Uh, Wait on Friday and Saturday, they do the funeral and and the meditation. Yeah, bring it. Praise God. Yeah, no. Brother uh, Thompson's sister, daughter's funeral is on Saturday, right now? Saturday. Which one? The one? Uh, the one that appeared. The one that somebody kicked in the door and shot him? No. Uh -huh. He's to get them all. Yeah, I know. He's to get them all. everywhere. <laughs> what that does get them all, too. <laughs> Well, praise God. Thank God. Praise Thank the Lord for allowing us to be here tonight. Yeah, amen. Amen. Uh, Thursday night. <laughs> yeah, night. Big Thursday night. Thank amen. God for that. Amen. I don't understand. Uh, well, I guess it's not for me to understand. Where is everybody? All these precious people that say they love the Lord. Where are they tonight? It's cool. Well, weather well, shouldn't change. That shouldn't make any difference. Uh -huh. We shouldn't be in the house of the Lord, no matter what the weather is, rain or shine, cold or hot. We ought to be there. Amen. Amen. I appreciate the Lord for allowing us to be here and comfort us and even as we travel down the dangerous highways mm -hmm. and how he protect us throughout the night as we sleep and lie in our beds. Mm -hmm. God kept us. God. At least I can come before the house of the Lord and thank him for what he has done for me all day long, you, all night long, being a keeper and being a deliverer. Not you. only that, being a healer. Yeah. God is so merciful and he's so wonderful. Mm. He's so good to his people, they don't even realize how good they are. And they don't even realize the distance they are from the Lord. And the goal today is to try to get closer to him. Yeah. That's what we're working on. That's what we push it so hard to do. Get closer to the Lord. I want to feel him every chance I can get. Hallelujah. Feel the spirit of the Holy Ghost. And be able to talk to him. And to be able to commune to him. Amen. That he hear my cry and hear my call. And to look upon me. I appreciate the Lord today. I know I'm not where I'm supposed to be spiritually, but I'm trying to get there. And I know the only way I can get there is to kill the old man nature and to move on with God. Hallelujah. I know I have tasted the heavenly things to come, but there's greater things to come in the spirit of the Lord. I want to live in the world of spirit of the Lord. Praise God. Saints of God, we're on a move today. We're going higher than we ever can be. But we have to do what we can for the Lord and go on. And don't let nothing hinder us, nor let nothing hold us back. Even our atmosphere, and he talks to us and tells us, oh, you don't need to do this. You don't need to go to church. You don't need to pass. You don't need to pray. That's his job to tell us, cause you to stumble or cause you to hold back from the Lord. He's doing the job. I tell you what, I hate to say it, but he's doing a good job. He got a lot of saints of God are staying home, not doing what they're supposed to do. They're not passing, they're not praying, they're not studying the word of God, they're not seeking his praise. No, they're not even lifting him up and praising him in every way. Praise him in the good, praise him in the bad. Don't just praise him when you're joyful when God does something great for you. You ought to praise him at all times. Be thankful. Especially when you come into the house of the Lord. Praise God. I appreciate it. I know we're trying to get to the place when, when uh, saw, not saw Solomon, when he completed building the temple to the Lord, he brought all the things back that his father had given him, brought it into the temple. And then when the Ark of the Covenant came into the temple, the holies of holies, they said it was so mighty, all the ministers, 
The priest, they could not even minister the word of God. But the cloud was so thick. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's what we're working on. We want the cloud of, of the Lord to be in this place so thick. Yeah. Amen. You can feel him touching all over your body. Yeah. All the condition in your body just disappear. Let's get away. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's what I want the Lord to do for us. Yeah. To take us where we've never gone before in the spirit of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Oh, we ought to lift him up every chance we can. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yes. My God, hallelujah. Bless his name. So the serve back and say, you eating today? I said, I don't know. I got to talk to my dad and see when can I eat. <laughs> hallelujah. I want to give him all that I can. I want to make it with the Lord. We need to pray for those that are not here today. Amen. The ones I thought would be here today, this is so surprising. They're not here. But I thank God. Hallelujah. Thank they had a problem. Thank you. They may have something uh, causing them not to be here tonight. But ask God that God would touch their mind and touch their heart. I need to find out what can we do for the Lord. I Amen. How closer can we get with the Lord? Yeah. Praise God. We have to push everything aside. Yeah. Not to make Jesus Christ secondary, but make him number one. Jesus. Praise the Lamb of God today. Let's oh, yeah. remember the sick that are not here today. Those in the home, yeah. those in the hospital, those in the nursing home, yeah. those in the recovery. Yeah. That God would touch them. Yeah. That COVID-19 that touch, took some away, caused a lot of them sick today. That's God that God would heal them. Yeah. We're living in a crucial time. Yes, it's getting so bad even that it, the people are fighting on the planes. Mm. On a jet slow, commercial plan, fighting on a plan. Mm. It's getting outrageous. Yeah. Amen. They're about to run over you on a highway. Mm. They're all in a hurry. I know. Hurry going nowhere, so to speak. Mm. But thank God if it was the house of the Lord, yes, Lord. <laughs> they would they would need to be in a hurry to get there. Mm. They packed the stadium of the football game. They packed the stadium of yes. the baseball game. But when the church goes open, yeah, there are barely many people there. These are the people that are willing to serve the Lord. They're willing to give themselves to Christ Jesus because he gave himself to you and I. And I thank him. Hallelujah. For taking my sins away. Giving me another chance. Giving me a life. I can give eternal life. It is up to me. God doesn't make you do what you want to do, what he wants you to do. He gives it to your heart to be desired. You got to have it in your heart to serve the Lord. Yeah, yeah. You got to have it in your heart to give them all that you have. Yes, Amen. Yes, and a lot of people say, well, I don't like to pay tithes. Mm. Why is it necessary? Right. Well, I feel like this. The Lord said, if you don't love money, mm. you'll pay your tithes. Right. And he'll give you more. Yeah. But if you love money, you ain't going to want to pay your tithes. Right. You ain't going to want to give an offering. Yes, Lord. Well, I feel sorry for you. Mm. Thank you, Lord. I know. Amen. So let's remember Brother Philip and God will touch it back. Yes. yes. Take the pain away. Yes, Lord. 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 Let's remember City of the Land. Yes. yes. Sister Jackson. Yes. Mm. Uh, Sister Babino. Yeah. Brother and Sister Babino. I talked with Brother Babino yesterday. Mm. And let's remember Brother and Sister Baker. Yes, yes. Lord. Yes. To them today. Mm. And let's remember Brother. Billy Brown and Sister Brown. Yeah. Brother and Sister Ross. Wright. Yes. Papa Ross. Yeah, I talked to him. Papa today. Kennedy. Papa yes. Kennedy, I talked to him today. Yes. Yeah. And let's pray. All so these precious brothers down, down there. Mm -hmm. And yeah. his wife and the family is going to and their brother Ratliff, Sister Ratliff, and uh, Sister Wills in Ogunfo. Mm -hmm. Let's pray for all these conditions and then uh, Tori. All right. Let's All right. pray that God bring the Kenya and his crew, their crew members home safely. Yes. And all those be traveling and this uh, uh, day is coming, this holy day is coming. But yes. God, I brought the myself, I brought this thing so we can put it on the on the bulletin board. All right. Uh, but if you do meeting, so those that want to go uh, can go. I am. I had already put a uh, hunting in over there for us. So, yeah, we can put it on the bulletin board. All right. Praise God. Yes, ma'am.
Remember Sister Gloria? Sister Gloria? Sister Gloria? Sister Francis? Yes. Sister Francis yes. got the, mm -hmm. the booster shot and uh, her arm is swollen. Yeah. She went and got the booster shot. Who, who did that? Sister Francis. Oh. Yeah, she went and got the booster shot. If you are not careful, these people, they give him three and four shots. They say that uh, people can get a fourth shot. Don't do it. Sure don't do it. Sure don't do it. <laughs> if you get two, uh, you are in good shape. I mean, two is uh, you are you are in good shape. And so, yeah. But uh, if you are not careful, they give you another. They said yeah, they, some people can get four shots. I will do. Yeah. So pray for Sister Francis, and then pray for Sister Seth. Pray for a miracle for her. Amen. Mama Walker. Pray for her, and then Janetta and Henry and uh, uh, Kiosha and. Brian and Bela, Mr. Uh, uh, Faith, and Ray, Daniel, Andrea, and then uh, who else? Johnny. Johnny, Johnny Sims, Calandra Sims, mm -hmm. uh, Lorette, and Christian Levin, and Maya, and uh, uh, Shamir, and Lee, and Kamir. She got a wonderful blessing. And uh, she called and told to do that she got the job. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. 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 Uh, God will do things like that for us. Services are getting higher and higher. When people want to come this Sunday, it's all right. But uh, <laughs> let's get higher in God. Amen. 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 Who else are we missing? Sister McGee. Let me pray for her. Amen. Sister Martha. That's mother. And we're going to collect. Uh, Sunday, if you get your check, bring a little envelope to for Sister Sister Martha and Sister Gloria. If this, if some people get it on a check, so they will collect the ones you can collect this Sunday, and then the next Sunday, Sister Dora will package it up and we'll, we will give uh, to Sister Gloria and Sister Martha. So right. let's keep on announcing it Sunday. Also, all right. Uh, who else? Sister Judy and Shabika and Gerald needs prayer. And Gerald needs prayer. We pray that he makes broke. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let's pray for him. That's what mm -hmm. we need with Eugene. Pray for Eugene. Pray and God brought him out. Mm -hmm. Now he's out. You know, you don't owe them people nothing. You don't have to report to, report to the government or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. And pray for little Nathan. We give him the parole now. He's on 10 year parole. Uh, he, he, he served 10 years in the jail, and now they gave him 10, uh, 10 years parole. And God will preserve him, that they don't send, send him back. Amen? So I pray for him. When Anderson died, Brother Marion Anderson died at 94. His mind was as sharp as it could be. Amen? Uh, the last two months ago, two or three months ago, I went to Lynn Jackson. And here, uh, he was standing up, talking. And, I mean, scriptures was coming through his mind, just like that. 94 years old. Oh, he, did, he didn't miss a beat. Mm -hmm. And I was a good teacher in his body. I'll tell you that. People like that, you can listen to all day. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. So let's pray for his family. Mm -hmm. His son just got a job. He flew back, filled the application, got the job. And as soon as he come home, he called him and say, your daddy has passed. So he had to fly back and uh, Eleanor. So let's pray for them and Eleanor. And then uh, pray for uh, uh, Galicia here, Elizabeth, Abraham, Sarah, who, and uh, uh, Fernando Thompson, Veronica, and Seth, and uh, Gabriel, uh, Malaysia, and uh, Thompson, and Sister Thompson. Who else are we missing? Philip. Who? Philip. 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 Camille's Philip? Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, Camille's Philip. <laughs> and, and, uh, and Maya. Yeah, my, my daughter, Kamaya. And my daughter, Shabika. And uh, Gerald. And uh, Tracy. Tracy. Tracy called uh, this week. Calls to Dora. And let's pray for the tennis. Innocent, uh, they call. 
Yeah, he, he lived in Houston. He said that, uh, what is his name? Tawaski. Tawaski. went back and lived with them for a little while and he took off again and came and, and, and lived with the woman again. Remember, yeah. the woman that's about his mother's age or even older than his mother, he left her. Uh, he left her and went to Houston working with his daddy and all of them and he took off from there. Now he's back to, to the same thing. He does not. So pray for Tawaski. Yeah. Yeah. Pray, for, pray for the tailors. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he called. He called and uh, he talked he, he talked my ear out for a whole hour. He was talking, talking, talking. I mean, he said talking and he was talking. So let's pray for them. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Becky and who cool. else? Huh? Becky and the children. Becky and the children. Uh, Becky and uh, Judah, Elijah. What is his name? Judah, Isaiah. <laughs> and uh, Ezra, Dr. Ezra. And uh, Anna Grace. And Elijah. Let's pray for them. And then uh, uh, who else? Sister Marsha. Sister Marsha. Uh, he will go for the brown and Sister Brown. Mm -hmm. But again, all right. But the wheat and Sister Wheat. Yeah. Amen. Let's pray for the ministry of the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. And all the brethren in Kenya, uh, Africa. The, the new uh, France meeting is coming on. Uh, Friday this year, they, they, since they're doing it virtually, they're doing it only two days, uh, mm -hmm. Friday and Saturday. Oh, well, let's pray for the France meeting uh, for uh, tomorrow and uh, tomorrow and Saturday. So I'll be, I'll be sitting in the office uh, uh, watching it. So uh, France meeting, let's pray for them and all the brethren, for the uh, Silva and for the Capito, for the Holland. Uh, the Babu and the daddy in India, Brother Samson, and uh, the folks in, in Germany and his churches in Vietnam. Let's pray for all of them. Brother Glenn Goodwin and his wife, uh, Sister Pam, Miss Prayer, Brother LaFleur, our neighbor here, Miss Prayer, Brother Salmon Delaney, and the Boban Assembly, Miss Prayer, yeah, yes, a Amy Anderson, Michael Anderson. Yeah. And then all of them need prayer. Yeah. Uh, who else are we forgetting? Yeah. Sister Mary, what's her name? Miriam? Miriam? Yeah. I don't know her last name. Miriam and Ambrosia and all of them. Yeah. And then uh, uh, Papa the Lady. We call Papa the Lady. Papa Mama the Lady. Cecil the Lady. Angie. And Yolanda, and Arthur, Arthur, Arthur and her, her, his pastor, where the seating was in Houston Sunday. We had a good, good service in Houston Sunday afternoon. We pray. All right, who are going to D.L. Jones and all the pastors under him? And then for the Colin Reed, Colin Reed and his wife. I can't call his name enough. Uh, he's been too good to me and my wife and Sarah and the whole family. Pray for Brother Colin Reed and the church in Indianapolis. Amen? Amen. Amen. And then uh, Brother Shabba yes, is still going through back pain like Dora and, uh, and uh, Brother Philip. Yes, so let's pray for uh, them. And then uh, who? Janetta? Who? Janetta? Yeah, yeah. Janetta, Janetta, of course, Janetta. And, and Sparkle. Sparkle. And uh, don't let us miss anybody. Let me say Michael. Yeah. No, Michael okay. and Kiyosha. I call Kiyosha. I didn't call Michael. Uh, but, uh, but I call the girls. Every Shishan. Every Shishan and his wife and his uh, father in law, mother in law. Let's pray for them. And then who else? Sister who? Sister Bishop. Let's pray for her. And uh, uh, who? Brother Seth family in Monte, Indiana, and Indianapolis, and, and here, uh, Louisiana. Let's pray for all of them. Amen. Amen. And then, uh, who else? Yeah, yeah Brother Lewis, and Sister Lewis, and, and Bridget, and all of them. Let's pray for them. Brother Thomas, man. Brother Thomas, 
Thomas crashing, he came, he went to Georgia somewhere, he came today to call me. But Thomas and his wife, Martha Crashley, and Sister Kim, and Sister Kim, and Eugene, uh, all the brethren in Africa, uh, Brother, Brother TV, Brother Lazarus, Brother Mbuga, Brother Opio, Brother Mangani, Brother Samson, Brother Wycliffe, he texted me the other day, Brother Wycliffe, his prayer. And uh, let's pray for all the brethren, Brother Kalu in Nigeria, Brother Victor, Brother Solomon, Brother Martin, Brother Bukunya, Brother Afrikubia, Brother Ahalevo, Brother Christian Insia, uh, Brothers uh, James and John Amenyampo, and uh, all the brethren back there, in God, let's pray for them. My brother Francis, his prayer, my nephew, the Pope, and the Pope, uh, Amwa, the only prayer. I didn't know one of my nephews, very bright boy, I didn't know he had died four years ago. They didn't tell me that. Mm. Yeah, I just talked to my sister and they told me he had died. I said, How did he die? He went to engineering school, he's an engineer and everything, about 35 years old. He died. Is that so? Oh, yeah. Them, them, them kids are really going to college over there. He, he graduated left and right. But he died four years ago. They didn't tell me. I just heard about it. So pray for his mother. His mother is, uh, I lost two husbands already. Uh, that's uh, my mother's younger sister's uh, daughter. And my mother's youngest, uh, uh, my mother's youngest. Uh, sisters, 97 years old. No, they said 98. She might be happy because they said she's very strong. All right. So keep on praying for her. Amen. Right. Yeah. And then uh, who else? Francis Philip. Francis Philip. Yes. And Lola Taylor. Lola Taylor. <laughs> and her children. Yeah. We're Lola's children and grandchildren. All of them need prayer. Yeah. Let's be praying for them. Yes. And then who else? Joseph Pete and Mary Pete. Yeah, Joseph Pete and Mary Pete. And Sarah Pete. Yeah, and Brother Pete. Rick Moore, mm -hmm. Brother Dan Bear, Brother Vitello, Brother Kaufman, uh, Brother Timothy Hill. Yes. Brother Richard, Narain, mm -hmm. in, 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 in New York, Brother, Brother Hogan Lewis, Brother Bishon Dillison, Brother Dave Paul, uh, Brother Zizi, Nick, and Emmanuel. Brother. Uh, uh, but Ivan Georges and his wife down there need prayer. Yeah. I uh, pray for Brother, uh, Brother uh, Walker and his wife. They need prayer. And then Brother Dow's son, uh, what's his name? Sean Dow. Sean Dow needs prayer. Amen. Yeah. And uh, uh, who else? Brother and Sister White and Brother and Sister Duncan. Yes. Brother Toby, Brother White, Brother Duncan, Brother Memo, Brother Rodriguez, Brother Modisset, Brother Modisset, and Sister Modisset. And then um, Kyle Watson is, is in uh, Rehab. So let's pray for them. Somebody put it on Facebook and said, to say a prayer and praying is different. That's right. The current people say a lot of prayer every day. When we went to the, the funeral mm -hmm. myself, Everything they do, they pray, uh, Hey Mary, and all of that. But that's saying prayer. It eh? reads from a book. We don't. We pray and the Holy Ghost give us authority. Hallelujah. Amen. And doesn't that make a difference? Yes. Amen. And, and I tell you, Calandra and uh, uh, what's the other lady's name that fell under the power of the Holy Ghost? Shamil. Huh? Shamil. Shamil, you all, all over the world. People from Australia say, Who are those? I said, so some of my church members, they, they, they drink us, they can drink, amen. Yeah, they were drunk, everybody, people. I, I have about 10 or 15 people say, the church needs this back again. I say, yeah, COVID has moved everybody, but we're feeling it right here, amen. Yeah, I have about 10 comments like that, and I brought them back then, which was good. It felt really good. I had a lot of comments, and uh, uh, this thing back, feedback. So uh, now Kalanda, they know you way back in Africa. 
in my country, in South Africa, and somebody from uh, 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 somewhere in the Philippines. Philippines. I said, yeah, that's Kalanda over there. And uh, she is yeah, getting drunk. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Oh, Lord. Lord, that's great. Amen. Um, with every time we come and keep doing it, Lord. Yeah, keep doing it. Doing it. Yeah, Amen. Yes, Good. All right. You come in and press your way in. Yeah. And that's a blessing for you. Amen. Amen. Bless his Amen. name. Thank you, Lord. All right. All right. that can stand. I stand. Brother Ajima was in his wife. Yes. And then, uh, let's pray for Dr. Gambler. Yes. I talked about him and his wife, so let's pray for that's That's our doctor. Yeah. All right. Him and his wife. Let's pray for them. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Whatever they're going through, God is able. Praise God. Pray for Brother John Miller. Yes. Pray for Brother Amen. Miller. And then pray for Brother Desmond. Yes. There is pastor. Oh, and, yeah. uh, uh, In Canada. Now they are freeing them up a little bit. Yes. They're opening it up. And Brother, uh, Brother Destin told me, uh, one of the Cuban brothers, I don't know how he got my number, text me and said, they've opened it up. Now they, they, they let in the boom church, which is good, wow. but there's no food. But uh, they're going to church now. Praise God. Thank Hallelujah. You. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And pray for good. Haiti. Those people that have been uh, uh, captured, they said that. That people are demanding 17 million, and now they said if they don't pay it, they're going to kill them. Yeah, they, they threatened to kill them. So let's pray that God will lift his hand up and uh, uh, watch over those people. Amen? Amen. 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 17 people, they didn't go there to do business. They went there for the Lord's work. Amen. And uh, they went to orphan homes, helping them and blessing them. Yeah. And here they are allowed to see. Danger, amen. It is dangerous. So let's pray for uh, those missionaries that went from America and Canada, that uh, God will uh, 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 release them or do something for them. Amen. Praise Him. All right. Who else? Lushanda and her co-worker Kathy. Yes, uh, Kathy and Lushanda. And then uh, uh, Sister Judy's sister, uh, Kim and James, need prayer. Preacher man needs prayer. Yes. Let's pray for preacher man. Amen. Amen. I want them all these kids to go to school and excel. Amen. A little tight needs prayer. Amen. Amen. A little tight. I've been praying for him and this week. I don't know why, but I'm praying. I don't know. Amen. I haven't had any dream, but he keeps coming. In my mind at the office. So let's pray for a little time. And uh, for God's hand to be upon all these little children. Amen. Oh, Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. That their, their future becomes bright. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, pray for all the little children in this church. Yes. Amen. Yes. Siblings. That uh, their mothers have gotten them. They, they don't want to be needed to bring them back. <laughs> but pray for them. For all of them, amen. 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 Let's pray. We want everybody that lives under our our uh, our our covering. Uh, we are under obligation yeah. to pray for you. Amen. amen. We are under obligation to pray for you. So uh, it's our duty. We pray, and I'm glad I got the man that will pray uh, with me and pray for the saints of God. Amen. 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 I want to. I want to leave this church in a good shape. If I die tomorrow, I want to leave this church in a good shape. We talk about spiritual shape. Yeah. Amen. 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 I might not have a dime or nickel to give to nobody, but the spirituality is what I'm looking. Amen. Quality people. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise and God. I appreciate Thank all of you, these sisters, Amen. that uh, when you come here, you, you can see that it's a Holy Ghost church. This, our videos are going everywhere. Amen. And people are seeing the kind of dresses we dress. Amen. Nobody showing the flesh. Amen. Amen. So Thank I appreciate all. all of you. Amen. Amen. Let's keep it up. Keep the standard up and keep Amen. your holiness and righteousness yes. in the church. Amen. 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 And God uh, will see us through. Oh, God. Somebody will move out of here now too. Yes. Lord. Why not you? Why not me? Yes. Amen. Praise God. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, my 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 those in Mexico, those in recover, God. Do good to your people, Lord. I don't want to wake up an eagle, Lord. Oh, God, bless the 
today. Jesus Christ, be the chief. Call us strong. Oh my God. Bless his name. Thank you for this honor. Thank you for this glory. Thank you for this holy good. Thank you for the church we're in today. For there's liberty, there's freedom to overcome. Freedom to get saved. Freedom to feel the baptism of the Holy Ghost today. Boyalisika. Blessed be his name. Thank you, Lord. Praise your holy name. God, we need your help today. Remember Sister Jackson today. Remember them, Sister Pamelo today. Remember them, Mother Walker today. Remember them, Sister Billy Brown, Billy Brown, Sister Brown, and Brother Sister Wright today. Brother Sister Isaac, Brother Sister Reed, Brother Sister Allen, Mother and Papa Kennedy, Mother and Papa Delaney.
come to the place where I don't want to get any glory for myself. Uh, yet uh, God's glory, He will not share with anybody. Amen. Uh, said, I am the Lord, and my glory I will not share with no one. Amen. It's an Isaiah. And uh, we ought to know where to give glory to. Glory belongs to God. Yes. Yes. Praises belong to God. I am. I'm thankful for Galicia. I'm thankful for Brother Sam, mm -hmm. but I don't worship them. Yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, I give glory to God. Amen. Amen. And that's why when people have been help you, you still have to give glory to God. Amen. You thank them. If God uses them to bless you, you, you have to know how to apportionate and give God the glory. If the doctor helps you, you thank the doctor. But you thank uh, uh, God for the doctor. The glory goes to God. Amen. And so a lot of uh, uh, people and go good godly men have missed God because of a little uh, pride. And when pride starts setting in, you want everybody to, uh, to, to call your name. And, uh, oh, uh, brother so-so-and-so, brother so-so-and-so, I've come to realize that uh, men loves it. Men love it. And they love it to be so. But uh, we, as believers, if we're going to stay spiritually humble before God and make sure we give God all his glory. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. God will use you. God uses you. But remember, the same God that uses you can turn you on the side and uses the Galicia. The same God that uses the Galicia, if she gets too pride and get arrogant in her spirit, God will turn her aside and uses the dollar. If uh -huh. the God dollar gets too big of a big headed, God can say, yeah, you, brother self, was giving us a lesson about Saul. When Saul was little in his own uh, eyes, God used him. But when he got to the place where he became, he became, uh, uh, he didn't want to answer to nobody. Uh, some preachers just like that. I pray to God that uh, I will always point people to God. Yeah, give yeah. God the glory. Thank give you. him the credit. Oh, yeah. Amen. We can heal a flea. Mm -hmm. And uh, we pray for him. God is the healer. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Uh, I hate to uh, even say we got a, a healing gift. And that gift comes from God. Huh? And uh, he's the one that touches people. We just be humble and know how to pray. And I know how to touch heaven. And God will do the rest. And when people go and say, My God, God heal me, say, Thank you, Jesus. Give God the glory. Oh, yeah. Amen. One lady told me one time, said, Well, I think I couldn't wait to tell you that night when you were preaching and my throat, that just I'm giving up and I had to go through surgery. But that night, when you prayed for me, he said, I went there and I called for all that blood and they didn't have to go through surgery. I said, sister, don't wait for me to tell me. Give God glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Give God all the glory. But I think that didn't do a thing. If God didn't touch you, I could have shaken your head and shaken you and shaken all the devil out of you. Nothing will happen. Amen. Amen. So uh, he said, I am the Lord. That is my name. Hallelujah. And my glory will I not give to another. Neither my praise to give it in me. See there? So uh, we, we, I want to uh, develop that attitude in this church. That we are grateful. We are thankful for the men that God has given us. Amen. Good pastors. Good praying men. But the glory goes to God. Amen. We are thankful for them. Amen. And you thankful for Brother Isaac. And you thankful for Brother Seth. But uh, the glory goes to God. Amen. We can pray until our teeth fell out. I've always made a joke out of it. That I, can, I can pray until my teeth fell out. And then I go get a false teeth and pray and it fell out again. <laughs> but that's the truth. He is God. And his glory, he wouldn't share with anybody. And when we humble ourselves, Listen to me. God will keep on blessing. How many want God to keep on blessing this assembly? So it's Christ that's in, in the midst of his church and doing it. When you do that, your mind wouldn't come down 
God is able to lower state. Sometimes we live too much in the flesh. That's why we want a little place there. Eh? We want a little glory here. They said a preacher one time, uh, uh, a sister was going through and uh, uh, she couldn't pay her bill and uh, preacher uh, paid the bill. Uh, called her and said, Sister Lorette, how much you need? And uh, Sister Lorette sat behind three months of my note and uh, that was about $1,800, 1892 to be exact. And the preacher said, we will help you. And the preacher uh, gave her the money. The church had a little money in the coffers for they call it the rainy day uh, fund. And it, it wasn't even the preacher that gave it to him. See how many want glory? Now, nah. and uh, Lorette goes to pay the bill. And two, three weeks later, she comes to church all fired up. My God with a testimony. I thank God when I needed it, God came through for me. What did she say that for? Preacher Sunday said, yeah, uh, God came through for you, but somebody had to give you the money. And he, I said, if I was God, I would have struck him dead, right there and there. He wants a little credit. He wants a little glory. Very glory won't bring us anywhere. If we accomplish anything, huh? if we accomplish anything, it's not us, but God. Amen. Amen. I tell my kids, I say, you're not smart. Trust me. Huh? You're not smart. It is God. If, if, if God had not touched your mind, you think yeah. you go to college at a, a young age and become a doctor at the age of 24 and become a, a senior doctor and all of that? No. No. Where are you? If God doesn't help you, you can't do it. You sure can't do it. And takes God. So you turn all the glory to God. When people are giving you a little grace, a little glory, don't let your head uh, swell up. But give God the glory. Amen. Amen. And learn to know how to give God all his praise. Good. You go to church. I tell you this, Sarah. I say, when you get in the church, I don't think you're a doctor. So you go to get down with the people, worship God. Yeah. And get, because what you get spiritually is what's going to take you somewhere. Amen. 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 You can acquire all the knowledge in this world. You can uh, get all the goods of this world, but uh, you die, and that's it, it's over. But if you, what you have had in God, yeah. what you got in Jesus Christ, yeah. is what will come. Yeah. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so you give God the glory. And this scripture here, I am the Lord. I am. He is the Lord. He is the one sent Moses and said, go and tell Pharaoh, I am who I am. I am sent me. Uh, Moses said, who do you want me to uh, 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 tell them? And he said, Sir, I am sent you. And you know that people, I will make a God out of you too. See, uh, if God had not killed Moses and hit his body, do you know Moses' body would have become uh, 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 a memorial and people would have worshipped that day. So God said, you come here and die. And God killed Moses around my horrible, around over there between horrible and Sinai, and in his body. So men would not wash him. him. Uh, people would do that. And uh, uh, God, when God uses men, I was reading, and I found out that, uh, you remember the three Hebrew men, Hananiah, Azariah, and, uh, and uh, Mishael. And he gave them a Babylonian names. Uh, 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 Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, mm -hmm. and they, they were uh, they were boyhood friends in Judah, mm -hmm. in Judea, when they were captured. Uh, Daniel knew them from back there. They, when they all came to Babylon, they were young men, mm -hmm. and seventeen and eighteen, and they came to Babylon, and they knew the God of Israel. They knew how to pray. They were on fire for God when they left uh, Judah. The land of Judah and came all the way to Babylon in the kingdom. And uh, they did wonderful. But guess what happened? You remember that you look at uh, their names after they went through the uh, fire uh, and came out of, uh, they got the glory and everything. Uh, now, I'm going to ask you a question, a theological question. Do you hear their name again in the Bible after they came out? Do you know what happened? You couldn't hear their name anymore. Daniel still lived on, and Daniel's name was because when they came out of the fire furnace, 
You know, people made a God out of them, and God had to kill them prematurely. Yes. That's how their name face down so fast, so fast. And when in their hands, they have gone into the fire and come out of it. Boy, this, uh, this people are something. That's why when Apostle Paul got over to a place where they said a serpent uh, ran, ran around his head like that, and uh, they said this man is evil and he's going to die. And the venom, uh, he said the evil has followed him all the way here. Uh, and then uh, uh, they sat there and Apostle Paul shook him right there in the fire. And then they said, oh my God, he's Jupiter. This man is a god somewhere. Apostle Paul said, you don't know what you're talking about. So uh, I'm, I'm cautioning all of us. God can use anybody. God can use Camille. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God can use Kalanda. God can use me. But uh, I, don't, I don't think that uh, sometimes on the job, people will give you accolade and uh, names and uh, tell you how good you are and everything. Don't let it settle in your mind. Give God the glory. I am. Hallelujah. Unto whom the princes of the Hebrew gave names for. He gave unto Daniel the name of Belshazzar and Hananiah. You see, they were, they were born with friends. They came from Judah, Judea and came into the province of, of Babylon. And when I, I read their stories, it sounds my heart. And uh, it's, a, it's a precaution to all of us that no matter how much God uses you, you have to stay humble. Because God can take you out quickly, prematurely. Huh? Uh, some preachers, God have taken prematurely. He did. Because they were getting too much glory. Their head was swelling up. And God said, hey, you can help that. You will get saved after a while. You will fall down. They said a, 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 a great fall. A fall, uh, uh, what pride goes before a fall. That's what it is. And so uh, all of us, let's uh, learn to, to give God the glory. Lift your hand down to tonight. Amen. Give God all the praise. I don't want you to give nobody a praise. But give praise and glory to God. I'm thankful for Brother Isaac. I'm thankful for Brother Seth. But all the glory goes to God. Praise his wonderful name. Amen. Don't make a God out of a creature. Amen. And uh, uh, don't make a God out of... That's why sometimes uh, 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 when you when you get uh, talented musicians, Brother Pat, some people came in the Houston church and they were so talented. And Brother Pat was, uh, was pushing them up, pushing them up. And the old ones that had been with him uh, uh, he was putting down but these people were really talented and he needed them but uh, one day as he was sleeping God gave him a dream and he said oh uh, he saw a bunch of golden fish that he had caught in a barrel and he's looking at it and God said this golden fish is not edible don't, 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 don't focus too much on them and lose these precious ones back here the party come out of the dream. Guess what happened? Those people were talented, way talented, and they thought they could do everything. So they left. Well, after a while, they stayed there for a few years. And guess what? One by one, they all left in the world playing uh, professional music and making money in the orchestra. And the poor ones that <laughs> was left playing for the time. <laughs> Where were they? The golden fish was not edible. Mm -hmm. It does not. Yeah. But thank God you are here. Amen. No matter what you do for God, it comes. Huh? Give God the glory. Hey. Praise his wonderful name. If you can clap your hand, clap your hand for God. Yeah. Whatever you do for the kingdom of God, God will bless you. Amen. If you had to lay on the floor, like Calabria and Amna, they went viral. Oh, my God. Calabria and uh, Calabria and uh, uh, Shabir. And now they went viral, Sister, Sister Lorette, you missed the Sunday. Were you here? Yeah, but you, you we, we got a reading. <laughs> it's not like you sitting right here and watching them people. As they you didn't you feel it. While they were laying down, that thing was coming out. I went there and got a, a piece of it. So, uh, but they went viral. So God can use anybody. But my point I'm making is, don't make, uh, don't, don't let your head swallow. God can use anybody. Uh -huh. huh? Hallelujah. Amen. Whoever thought 2021, Kalanda and Shemir will go 
Bible, all over the world, people call it, huh? But God is the one that does stuff like that. So we have to give him glory. That little us, sister, sister Veronica used to say, uh, that God has stopped by. That, that statement is a deep statement, people are, for us, little us, for God to stop by and visit us. You know, people can have church. Anybody can have church in the village. We can come here and pray and sing and clap and shout and speak in tongues and think we have had church. If God is not here, uh, somebody said God was trying to knock uh, a door for 20 years. So a man went there and then people didn't want him in the church. So they closed the door on him and the man came and knocked And all of a sudden God said, I've been trying to get in this church for 20 years. So, and they haven't let me in. They wouldn't let you in. Poor you. Go find somewhere to go. So, but we, <laughs> we want God in. Hallelujah. Yeah. We want to be humble people. We want to be humble people with, with a poor spirit. Yeah. We need more of God. That's why we are here tonight. Yeah. It's cold night. Here we are. Yeah. We want more of God. Yeah. We have to be hungry from God. Yeah. Amen. Those that are come to God uh, that are full, He sent home empty. Yeah. But when you come with hunger in your heart, yeah. my God, God will fill you up. Praise yeah. is wonderful name. Yeah. And what you get in God is what count. You might have 10 houses, 20 houses. If you die, you are taking none with you. Yeah. Have you ever seen a man die and you put uh, money all over him to go with? No. But what you go in with is your soul yeah. that is saved. And wrapped up in Jesus Christ. Lord. And so tonight, I want to uh, encourage all of us. Let's stay humble. We want more of God, don't we? Yeah. We want to get closer to Him. So yeah. deep with Him. Uh -huh. That when we open our mouth, God listens to Him. Uh -huh. When we shed in tears, God will put our tears in the bottle. Do you think a lot of believers that shed tears, and this will give me that scripture. I want to go back on it again. There are people that their tears, God puts it in a bottle. Because it is important to him. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You must shed a tear for your son or your daughter or your grandchildren today. And uh, look like it hasn't been answered. Don't, I want to give you a scripture. Don't worry. Keep on shedding those righteous tears. Cry and mourn for your children. Uh -huh. And God, every time, yeah. thou tell us my wanderings. Put down my tears. Hallelujah. Into that bottle. Oh God, hallelujah. And then he said, in, in, Are they not in that book? Which book is he talking about? How are you going to put a bottle in the book? Can you put a bottle in the book? No, you can't put a bottle in the book. So, what is he talking about? He's talking about the man of God. Praise his wonderful name. There's a book in heaven. The, it's called the, the book of life. Richards will tell you when you get to heaven, uh, God will. Uh, uh, open the book and see if your name is there or not and all of that. God is writing whatever you're doing. No! How much ink would God have? Well, how much ink would he need uh, to write? Uh, people's name, some preacher was telling them, was it uh, the one from Louisiana, what's his name? Uh, he come to a church in Netherlands and uh, uh, Dr. Nistin invited him. He said, Dr. Agra, just come and listen to me. Jesse Duplantis, and here uh, a year ago, and uh, about somewhere 1991 or something like that. I think uh, this one, and then Randy, is the, yeah, Randy, 1991, Randy, a triumph uh, preacher, invited Jesse Duplantis to come over there. And Randy told me, I'm tired, let's come and listen to this man. So I went over there, and Jesse Duplantis is doing his own thing. Uh, he brings his own people uh, to collect the offering and all that. <laughs> and I'm listening. And then he said, hey, every one of you here, when you get to heaven, <laughs> he said, God will sit down. And the Bible said, he wiped away your tears. And Jesse, you probably told him, there's a big old tower that God has got ready for the saints that are coming with tears. And he will wipe away their tears. I said, this guy doesn't know the Bible that much. I'm wasting a whole hour listening to him. Huh? What kind of a how much towel will God will need huh, to clean <laughs> the tears? When the Bible says he wipe away your tears, huh, you know how he's going to do that? The situation that caused you to cry, the situation that brought the tears, God is going to stop it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So there wouldn't be no shedding of tears. If you shed tears, it will be tears of joy. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Praise his wonderful name. Huh? Amen. But so how much ink 
what God needs to, to, to write in the book. And then he puts it in a bottle. And he, uh, if, if I put water in a bottle right now, and I bring it in this book, and I try to wrap this book, you all have to run away from me. I'm crazy. <laughs> so it doesn't work like that. But God's memory, hallelujah. God puts it in a bottle and put it in his mind. And every now and then, Lord, man die and go. And your great, great grandchildren, God takes the tears out of it. Say, my God, you, little you, that your grandmother, your great grandmother cried. I pull this tear up. Come on and save you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want God to put my righteous morning into his bottle. He will remember it. He will break it. Hallelujah. Praise his wonderful name. Isn't God good? You can buy mercy. You, you can get enough mercy for your grandchildren and your great grandchildren. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why seven good. God is good. Calendar, seven God. Amen. And it, it, that, that mercy that you, you, you get from God, huh? it will, will be overflowing and it will touch your children. And your grandchildren yeah. and your great grandchildren. Yeah. After you died and even gone, mm. God will still have mercy. He will be pulling tears, the righteous tears from the bottle. Hallelujah. Glory yeah. to God. Yeah. Praise his wonderful name. Yeah. And, yeah. and see about your children and your grandchildren yeah. and your great grandchildren. Yeah. And uh, God said, uh, yeah, they are not even no great grandmama. Pray for us. Yeah. I'm standing here because my grandmother uh, was a praying woman. Hallelujah. He, he brought my mama, she brought my mama to church. And when I was born, I, my mother was in church. My mother had brought my daddy to church. Hallelujah. 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 My mother was almost 20 years old when she got the Holy Ghost. And she stayed with the Holy Ghost for almost 74 years. And I wonderful? 75 years before she passed. And they prayed us too. They prayed all of us children too. And there was a lot of tears that went into the bottles. Amen. Oh, yeah. And my sister, I was talking to my sister. She's 82. Uh, she's going to be 82 in December. She said, remember that grandmother prayed. She was a praying woman. She wouldn't take no medicine. She trusted God. And she said, now look at all of us coming. All the children and children, children. Every one of them has gone to college and then, then their children go to college and they finish college. And my sister was saying, if I look at our family right now and all the grandchildren and great grandchildren coming along, God has blessed them because of our great grandmother. And I said, I believe it. I believe it. My sister, 82 years old, she was telling me. She said, when she was a little girl, my grandmother would tell her, I'm teaching you how to pray so you can touch God for yourself. Praise this wonderful name. It takes humility to follow God. Amen. And uh, not what the world can give you. Yeah, don't let, let me say this. Don't let the world shape you the way they want to shape you. If you are not careful, the world will shape you the way they want to shape you. Huh? They will make you love things of the world. And live the things of God. Huh? And the more things you get, hey, let me tell you, I don't care uh, uh, what you get, you always want more. That's how price says it. You get one house, you want another house. You want another house. You want another car. You buy a Rolls Royce, and now you want an aeroplane. <laughs> Man, with but humility, what I get in the world doesn't matter no more to me. But what I get in God, that's humility. How many want to humble God? Humble themselves before God. Because he said, blessed are the poor in spirit. Not in the flesh now. Yeah. The flesh will tell you, get angry. Who are they to talk to you like that? <laughs> uh, who are they to talk to you like that? And, and pride will always set you. But thank God there's a God in heaven. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank that you. saved you and I. Hello. And he's telling us, be like an old child. Yeah. Uh, don't drift away with the world. The world don't have nothing to offer us. We are in the world. Yeah, but don't abuse the, the goods that God gives you. Some people are being the blessing God give them. You know that? They throw it away uh, uh, to, to swines. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. God bless you. You better hold on to the blessing of God and bless those that God wants you to bless them. Uh -huh. Not just because you got it. Everybody here, every top they can have it. Do you know some people are having the curse of God? Yeah. So if you bless them, you are doing no yourself a bit of good.
You ain't doing no yourself of being a good. After a while, God will turn this around for you. Amen? Yeah. You know that? Yeah. Some people are under the judgment of God. Mm -hmm. But humility will let you know. Brother Bill Davis that died, he came here one time and he was preaching and said, uh, uh, humility huh? will let a preacher see that God in the saints. Yeah. Humility, if you are humble enough, you will find out that you don't only want God. God. You will find out God is working with Galatia. God is working with Sister Sarah. Yeah. God is working with Sister Dora. Yeah. And let's mingle this thing together. Right. And we'll lift the holy hands and come here and mingle. And let us put on God. Oh, mingle us together. Humility. Don't think you are better than anybody in the church. Hallelujah. I don't care how spiritual you are. We are all in this group together. That's why this is called a fellowship. We are in the boat together. Hallelujah. Lift your head. Tell the Lord thank you. Thank you. wonderful name. Don't think of yourself highly. That's what I'm working on tonight. I'm afraid that many of God's people think they are better. They are better. And that thought will, will slip in your mind and you backslide and you don't even know. You know you can sit down in the church house and backslide? Yeah. How many of you know that? You can sit right here in the church. Do you know they tell them, they said, there's a scripture in the Bible that said the lost coin. And the coin is in the house, but it's lost. And I want to humble myself. Yeah, Praise Lord. is wonderful name. Yes, How many want to humble yourself? Yeah. Come before God. Say, God, we need you. We I need you. Need Sister Judy needs you. I need you. Yeah. Sister Dora needs you. That's Sister right. Self needs you. That's Brother right. Self needs you. Yeah. Galicia needs you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Elizabeth here needs you. Uh, Camille needs you. Mm -hmm. Calanda needs you. Uh, uh, Dora needs you. God, we have come. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Fill our cup, Lord. Fill our cup, Lord. Fill our cup, Lord. And when God uses you, you still give him the praise. I am the Lord. Hallelujah. My glory will I not give to anyone. And so, uh, let us work on it. Let's all work on it. It's not just preachers that get proud. Pride in their life. Saints get proud too. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. But I want humility to work in all of us. If you don't work on it, after a while, God blesses you with something you think you're better than everybody. Yeah. I'm serious. Yeah. If you don't work on it, when the blessing comes, you think, my God, I, I pray that everybody in the church. That's why God has blessed me like that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You'll cut your life short. Yeah. God help us. I said, God help us. Thank you. I want to be humble. Yeah. I want to stay before God. Mm. Hallelujah. God, keep on pouring on me. Oh, you pour it on me this Sunday. Come on, keep it up. God, give me again, another game. Give me another torch. Give me another blessing. Hallelujah. I come here for a blessing. If it's a soul blessing, let me have it. If it's a spirit blessing, let me have it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You go from glory to glory. Huh? Higher to higher. Higher place. Amen. And it takes humility to do that. And uh, I've often said the death of Jesus Christ huh, wouldn't have mean beings. No, he was a son of God, but his death on the cross would not have been beans to you and I without humility. Hello. If you read Philippians 2, I was sharing with Brother Robinson tonight, and I said, if people knew, uh, if people know Philippians 2, uh, if people knew what all Jesus had to go through, Kalanda, to come down here to die for you, you and I. My God, church door won't, 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 won't open and we'll be knocking the door. Mm -hmm. If we knew, Sister Seth, yeah, yeah, yeah. what are you going to go through? Mm. The Bible says, He be in the form of God. Do you understand that language? Mm -hmm. He was like God. Yeah, 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 yeah. He had the same substance like God. He couldn't die, nobody could kill him. Mm. Mm -hmm. My goodness. He was the commander in chief in heaven. Yay. There are billions of angels. He tell them, hey, Gabriel, go over there and see about Daniel. Mm. Go over there and see about Camille. Mm. Go over there and see about Philip. Yeah. Huh? He was the commander in chief. Yeah. That's why under the Old Testament, he was called the angel of the Lord. Yeah. Every time he showed up, he said, the angel of the Lord. That was Jesus. Yeah. Huh? He was a supreme being. He, 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 he was... He didn't even come into the new God with God. But whatever God had, he gave it to Jesus. So, Philippians said, He being in the form of God. Let me explain that to you. He 
who was like God. He was the duplicate of God. God. He was the duplicate of God. And in the olden days, when they said that uh, when you want a duplicate, they put a the wax there, and the king will put his uh, finger uh, ring and put it there. Huh? And make a duplicate of the of the of the of the authority. Huh? Yeah. Who being in the form of God, he was in the nature of God. Whatever nature God was, Jesus was. Huh? Counted it not robbery, he counted not to be equal with God, but he was. He was in the same form like God. As a matter of fact, God the Father gave him so much power to create everything. Everything. Jesus Christ said, hey, I'm going to send an angel to go from there to save them. And he brought given the angel power, hallelujah, to come down here. But he said, daddy, I'll go down there. Judy Ryan needs me, hallelujah. Come on, lift your hand there. Thank you, Lord. And Father said, how are you going to go? If you go down there, the form you want, you have right now, nobody can kill you. But we need somebody to be killed. The man that was slain from the foundation of the world, somebody that can take a human form. How are you going to do that? The father said, now I'm going to tell you how you're going to do that. You go to what they call kenosis of Jesus. Kenosis, you know, it comes from the Greek word, empty out. A man has immortality. So even if he takes a human form and comes down here, uh, without, if he still has immortality, he can kill it. Immortality means something that has life within itself. So the first thing he has to do is son, you just have to let immortality go. No wonder Jesus said, Oh Father, glorify me with the glory. That I had with you. Yeah, yeah. When he got the job done, he said, Now glorify me. So the closest of Jesus, the first thing, Jesus had to empty out himself. He had to put immortality down. He said, If I go down with immortality, they can kill me. Now he had to diversify himself. He was an angelic being. If I go down like an angel, if I get your right now, what you going to do? Can you shoot an angel? You can't. Mm -hmm. You can't be crucified for an angel. By the time you catch him here, he's over here. Mm -hmm. Do you know when Jesus came, he demonstrated it sometimes to them. Sometimes when they want to catch him, he disappears. Yeah. They were looking for him, and the man is standing around and you can't see him. But he said, Father, I'm not going to do that. I'm a dead and human form. So, he said, Philippians said, he diversified himself and became like us. You know what it takes for? He was made lower than angels. He had to even diversify to, be, to come to the level of angels and then diversify to come lower than angels. All the glory he had because of David said, because of Isaac he said, I will do it. Philippians 2, I'm still over there. Thank you. He said, and he humbled himself. He emptied himself out. Mm -hmm. Hebrews said, mm -hmm. as the children were partakers of flesh and blood, right. he likewise took on the same. Because if he comes with an angelic body, you can kill him. Yeah. The purpose won't be done. And he had to take on. And if he come with an angelic body, you know me and Kalanda will have an excuse. Yeah. Jesus, you came as an angel. That's where you can. You can do all those things. We will have an excuse. Uh -huh. But he came like you are. Uh -huh. Like I am. Uh -huh. He ate cockumus like you did. Uh -huh. With a human body. Yeah. Now, how, did, how God did that, mankind cannot tell you. How he diversified Jesus and made him flesh like us. It's a mystery in itself. The mystery of the kenosis. How do you take a, a heavenly angelic being higher than angels and bring 
him down to the level of angels and bring him to the level of human beings and put him in the little woman's womb. For as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, Jesus has never been in human form. He was with Father. But he had to take on the yeah. human form. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Duke Allah, one of the scriptures said, sometimes he had to even humble himself to look at his creation. Jesus had become so low to look at his creation. He was so high. He had to humble himself to come to look into his creation. And he diversified all of them. Gave the angelic body off. Said, I'm going to take on the the wood frail body of human beings and become lower than angels yeah. and go into the lowest hell. That's, yeah. that's Mary's womb is one of the lowest hell. Preachers talk about hell like they know what hell is. Huh? Mm. <laughs> the lowest part of the lowest hell Jesus gave you was the womb of Mary. To mm. mm. live heaven, peace, joy, authority. Now, he if you've been a leader before, if you've been, if you've been up there, huh, and all of a sudden they demote you, and people that used to give them authority, now they're giving you authority. Woo! <laughs> you can stand again. I get you. And people that were your laborers, they, you give them instruction. All of a sudden they say, you are demoted. You're going to be under them. And they're going to give you instruction. Woo! I know. My goodness. <laughs> That's why some people they, they commit suicide. Mm. Huh? Yeah. But Jesus did. He took on flesh and blood. Uh -huh. huh? yeah. Likewise, you see, that through them, because the mission was somebody ought to die for this people. Mm. So, sir, if you go down there with an angel body, the mission won't be accomplished. Uh -huh. They can catch you, they can kill you. They can hang, even if, they, if you let them catch you as an angel and they hang you on the cross, you can hang there for a million years. You will never die because you have immortality. Yeah. You know, Bush. See what you done for us? Yeah. Jesus, you. I thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank Jesus, you. I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I will forever praise your name and tell you thank you. For your supreme sacrifice, you, that because of me, a wretched sinner like me, you give up everything, give up everything, and come down here into the womb of little Mary to be born and to be spit on and to be told you are a child, illegitimate child, and all of that, just to save us. Oh Lord, I thank you. And because you humbled himself, the Bible said, God has highly exalted him and given him a name above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. He's your Lord. I said, He's your Lord. Oh, hallelujah. He can show the area of my son. Philippians chapter 2. He humbled himself. So with that humility, as a matter of fact, the death on the cross was so humiliation. Humiliation that uh, it was given to the worst of the worst. Worst criminals. The worst criminals are the ones they hung up. And they let them die a slow, painful death. He said, I'm going to go through, Father. He was determined to go through. If it was me, I'm be honest with you. When I came down here, and they start talking about me, and speaking about me, I said, Father, I changed my mind. I, I changed my mind. I'm coming back up with it. I changed my mind. But Jesus, oh, but Jesus, oh, but my Jesus, being in the form of God, huh? fashioned as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, not just death, 
But even to the death of the cross, a humiliation death, a devil humiliating, a painful death, that you die gradually, painful, they inflict pain on you. Because you are the worst of the worst of criminals. Oh God. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. Thank you. Jesus, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. But he done that, that he will bring money into glory. And here you are one of them. Camille. Thank you. Lemon. Thank you. Thank you. When he was on the cross, I was on his mind. So he went through all that humiliation and brought his spirit under subjection. No matter what they did to him, he said it's okay because of Kalanda. It's because of Judy O'Brien. Because of Naomi said, I will go through it. Oh, hallelujah. He was looking at humanity with compassion and went through it for 33, one and a half years. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Wherefore God, mm. after he died up there, said, Wherefore God has highly exalted him mm. and given him a name which is above every name. Yes, that in the name of Jesus, yes. every knee shall bow. Mm. Of all the things in heaven and things in earth mm. and Lord. things underneath. Now, oh. he goes to go, go for. I'm going to end up here. Humility. Let it work in you. Let it work in me. Oh. Amen. Amen. When, you are, when your mind is getting exalted, say no. Stay low. Low is the way. Yes, Lord. Yeah. You know, when you humble yourself, you are higher in the spirit. Amen. Huh? Yeah. When you get higher in your mind, you are low. You come to carnality. Uh -huh. It gets to Calvary. Mm. And they nailed him on the cross. Oh, no. oh God. Yes. Grace is water for yes. you. Yes. And he hung there. Mm. And earth was shaking. Darkness was coming. What a shot. My God, my God, why have thou forsaken me? The time that he entered into the womb of Mary, the father promised him when he was coming down here, the father promised him, he said, if you go down there and you want to save these people, I'll help you. I'll be with you all the time, always. So not a single day in his life did he ever miss the presence of God. God was looking at him. God was putting him through. And God was by his side. But on that day on Calvary, he had become sin. God the Father could not look on sin. Psalm 22 had already prophesied that it's going to happen to the Messiah. When you read Psalm 22, he said, Look, Eli, Eli, oh my God, my God, how, why have God forsaken me? I'm explaining it to you. The reason Jesus fell, his father has taken his eye. That was the only time that the father took his eye off his son because he could not look on his son being saved. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise his wonderful name. Yeah. So the father took his eye. If the father had not taken his eyes off, Jesus wouldn't have died. He would have had death. He found it. He, when you get close to God, when God lives you, you know it. When you leave God, you know it. All you have to do is come back. And where you left him, he's still standing there. Say, come here, come on. I'm still standing here. Hallelujah. He will never leave you. He will never leave me. But we leave him. I come back and find him. Hallelujah. Praise his wonderful name. And so the father said, Oh, no. I, better, I, better look, I can't look on sin. Mm. And Jesus felt it at that moment. Mm. And my father is giving my, me up to the ghost. Mm. I will have to die. Mm. And he felt it. He said, my father, my father, why have thou forsaken? Why are you taking your eyes off me? Yeah. Oh God, oh God. Yeah. You know what happened that day in heaven? Mm. And you didn't understand it. Yeah. This man, our, our chief, it's that dying. That's why the Bible said some of the things we go through, angels are dying to look into it. God hid that from them. The mystery of the death of Christ, the angels don't know nothing. They 
day that you get to heaven and you start singing about how you became angels, you will shake your head and say, My God, my God, you should have left us a little clue. A little clue. Then when you find out that your father had left him, he said, Now nah, my ghost is going. It is finished! Now, he said it only two times in the Bible. Tetelesta. You know what that means? When, uh, when uh, in the Greek culture, when Kalanda goes to borrow money, or Isaac Kalanda goes to borrow money in the bank, and they write the bill and everything, and then you pay it on the note, you pay it on the note, you pay it on the note. Sometimes, all you're doing is you pay the interest. You know what the Old Testament prophets did? They were paying the interest of the sin man had committed. That's why they couldn't go nowhere. That's why the righteousness of Abel couldn't save us. Mm. Not even the friendship of Abraham with God could save humanity. Hello. Might of David couldn't save us. They were just paying on the interest. Mm. The principle was still there. Sin was still sin. They were bringing bulls and calves and goats and everything. That's why the Bible said, you were not redeemed by the corruptible things of this world. Not the, the blood of goats and bulls and calves. But you were redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I thank God for the precious blood. He gave his life for Judy. He gave his life for Camille. He gave his life for Lorraine. Hallelujah. And me too. I'm so glad. Thank you, Lord. Now, then all of a sudden the man comes and says, Never, how much you owe? Come on, let's go to the bank. He goes to the bank and they open the book and they say he owed two thousand dollars. Hello. And he said, Okay. Interest, everything is finally going to be paid. Mm -hmm. He writes a big check. He sit down with front of witnesses. The man writes the check mm. and pays the bill. Hello. Now they stamp it, fully paid, and they shake hands and they say, Tetra last time. Yeah. last time. It is finished. It is paid in full. We ain't coming back to this no more. Mm. Oh, Tetra last time. Thank you. Tetra last time. Thank you. Tetra last time. It is finished. Yes, it is finished. Yes, we it is paid in full. Your sin has been paid in full yeah. on Calvary's tree. Uh, Don't let the devil trick you. It is paid. Yeah. Say it is paid yeah. in full. Yeah. Hallelujah. Tetelesta. 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 It is finished. Yeah. It is complete. It is paid in full. Hallelujah. Yeah. Now I've been redeemed. By the blood of Jesus. Now I don't have to go to the bank and to pay on that loan anymore. My sins have been forgiven. Yeah. Now I can sit among the congregation yeah. of the saints yeah. and sing praises unto my God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Let's keep a humble mind. All of us. God is ready to use us. God is ready to use all of us. God is ready to use you, Camille. God is ready to use you, Galicia. God is ready to use you to do that. Yep. But let's keep a humble attitude yep. and a humble mind and keep it up. God is going to use us. No telling what's coming in the future. I refuse to let the world turn me the way they want to turn me. Yep. I will never turn. Turn me, O oh Lord, and I shall be turned. Yep. I want to be turned. Hallelujah. Amen. Get it and pay for my sins. Yep. Jesus did. Yep. The world did it. The goose of this world couldn't pay for my sins, but Jesus did. I follow him the rest of my life. I will put my hand in his hand and I will follow him. Judy, oh, I will humble myself and follow him the rest of my life. Hallelujah. He has made me a brother in the brotherhood. Hallelujah. He has made you a sister in the sisterhood. Stand up with me. Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Take the last time. It is paid in full. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. It is finished. Humble our spirits. Bless us this day. Yeah. Hallelujah.
Alléluia, nous la cadre de Elia Masso. Nous gardons la Masso, Ita Baba. Alléluia, Alléluia. Oh, Father, humble us. Let's walk humbly before you. Any obstacle that will bring pride in our way. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Help us, Jesus. Help us, Jesus. Bless your people. Oh, the sick among us. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Itama Sabi. Itayande, Nere. Nere, Ite, Patarikula. Itayama So. Itayama Satana. Strengthen us. You've done it for us. Thank you, Lord. Every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess that you are Lord. We thank you. thank you. Father, we thank you. Thank you. Father, we thank you. Thank you. We believe that you can do the impossibility. Yes. Turn the possibilities to be possibility. Yes. Whatever we go through, you got the power, thank you. the might thank you. to break through for us. Yes. On the desert, yes. you will let flowers bloom. When we are down, you can speak life into us. Father, we thank you. Thank you. Our brethren that are going through, yes, strengthen them. Their families are in your hands. Yes. Ma, 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 ma. Brother John Bear is going through. Yes, but you know your servant yes, and his family. Yes. Father, touch them. Yes. Do good to them. Yes, touch his body yes. and heal him yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. Those that are going for surgery, yes, my God with me. Ah, Sister Dora here. Yes. Brother Allen. Sister Sir, yes, Mama Walker, yes. Mother Feller, Ikama, Shun the area Messiah. Speak healing into their life in the name of Jesus. When the Torah is in your hand, what a God you are. When the Sean Dad is in your hand. Ah, Sister Ivan Judges is in your hand. My God. Uh, Brother, Brother Joel, Hillel, Sister Hillel, Sister Hillel. And I touch it right now in the name of Jesus. There are cases all over this body. We pray that from Australia to New Zealand to Southeast Asia to Asia, Europe, North and South and Central America, oh, Antarctica, Greenland, and Iceland, everywhere. And your people are suffering. Yes, Father, Lord. bring relief to your soul. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Thank you. Above all, give us strength yes, to be humble enough yes, to believe and trust yes, you. Yes, and give you the only glory. Yes, all the glory belongs to you. All your praise belongs to you. Yes, your glory will not give to another. Yes, Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. All this day, we give you the praise and the glory, the ministries in your hand, the center in your hand. Be merciful to us. This is mercy for our families, our friends, far and near. Allah, Let the word of God dwell in us. And this world's news will not take us anyway. Yes, but we want to be rich in you. We want to work as spiritual men and women. Don't let carnality trail our heels and trick us and plunge us into carnality. But we want to go higher and higher and higher. We want to be spiritual beings. Oh God of heaven. Lift our minds up. In the spirit of God. Thank you, Lord. Bring this wonderful sins. Bring them home safely. Those that are home, Father, save them also. And touch all of them. 
You got a single hope. Sister Jackson. Yes. Sister Francis. Yes. Sister Gloria. Papa Delenia, Mama Delenia. You got to have lost loved ones. Sister Martha Nibley. Sister Gloria Hammond. All those. Brother Don Wickerson. Papa Shulia. Bind them together. Let them feel the warmth of your hand. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Veronica Thompson. Yes. And the Thompson's sister. Yes, Lord. That you have suffered the death in the family. Yes. Would you wrap your arms around them? Yes. Comfort them. Yes. The taker and the friends that are coming. Yes. Bring them home safely. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Father, we thank you. Thank you. Lord, thank you. Is in your hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maria, yeah. Yes, yeah. Father, touch the road. You go to him. Let him put your man. Father, touch him. Father, touch him. Father, touch him. In the name of Jesus. We thank you. Father, let the word of God sing deep in our minds, in our spirit. Yes, Lord. Humble yes, us. Yes, Lord. We shall be humble. Bring us home safely. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. 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 Jesus name. Jesus name. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. She made all the world. That's right. That's it is finished. I Amen. Yes, he paid it all, all right? It is finished. Don't let the devil trick you. The devil comes and says it's not. And make an accusation that you done this, you done that. Say, Tata, let's die. It is finished. It is paid. For can you say it? Tata, let's die. Tata, let's die. It is finished. Complete. Paid in full. Hallelujah. Praise is wonderful. Thank you, Lord. Tata, let's die. T E T E L E S T A I T E T L E S T A. Ah, Tata Let's Die. It is finished. T E T E T E T E T E T E T E T E L E S T A I. Tata Let's Die. Say it again. Everybody, Tata Let's Die. Hallelujah. It is paid in full. It is finished. Hallelujah. We are finished. Your salvation. Amen. God bless all of you. God's willing, we'll come to prayer Saturday morning, and uh, then Sunday morning we will uh, have service. Amen. Yeah, because we missed the last Saturday. Yeah, we, yeah, we had to go to the funeral, and uh, I think you cut it off. Oh, not yet. Oh, cut it.